Welcome to the Sunday's Gospel Reflection. Well, you might have already heard the story about St. Augustine. He was an ambitious thinker. He wanted to understand the mystery of the Holy Trinity. So, one day, taking a break from his reflections, he ended up on a sandy beach where he saw a young boy who dug a hole in the sand and was filling it with seawater, with a small seashell. Augustine stopped to watch the child and asked him what he was trying to do. And the child told him, well, I'm emptying the ocean into the hole in the sand that I have dug out. My dear, replied Augustine, how can that little hole you have dug contain the immensity of that vast ocean? Whereupon the little child looked up to Augustine and said, how much less can a human being like you ever grasp and understand the great mystery of God the Trinity. And the child immediately disappeared. Augustine was another human being, like you and like me. We somehow know it. Life is bigger than us. But we cannot help struggling to understand life in the hope of being able to cope with it and perhaps even control life. But whatever we put into that little hole that is our mind, our little heart, whatever we put in them, our hopes, ideals, good wishes, plans, projects, they seem to quickly disappear. Just as the sea water the child was pouring into that little hole, was quickly sucked up into the sand to disappear and leave the hole seemingly as empty as before. Is this the destiny of our big dreams and great aspirations? Is this the destiny of our deepest desires for goodness, holiness, peace, justice, happiness? When will there be peace on earth? When will we overcome famine, racism, hatred, violence, wars, pride, our own short-sightedness? And yet, this is not just our dream. It is God's own big dream. In today's first reading, Isaiah says, It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. It is too little to concentrate our energy, our attention, just on our little lives, our small circles, our petty interests, our tribal instincts. God's dream includes everyone. It includes everything, everywhere. That my salvation may reach the end of the earth, God says through Isaiah. Yes, God has big dreams for us, his children. He will never be satisfied or content with just a few select people who are saved. He is not interested just in his chosen people. He wants his salvation to reach the ends of the earth, to reach every heart of every single son or daughter of his. Hope, happiness, 
must be for everyone. How will he ever make his dream come true? There is only one way. You and me. Isaiah spells it out loud and clear. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. This is the most amazing part of God's dream. He has entrusted it to our own hands and in our hearts. He has only one way of filling the big void and emptiness in the heart of humanity. And that way is you and that way is me. He believes so much in each and every one of us that he entrusts his wildest of dreams to you and me in spite of our fragility, in spite of our weakness. He believes in us much more than we believe in him. And this seems to be the wildest part of God's dream. This is what saves us and what saves all his beloved children. The greatness of God's dream. His trust in us. If only we opened our hearts and minds to this wildest of dreams, how quicker would the dream come true? When God created us like that child on the sandy beach, he knew that the infinite love he had for us cannot be contained in the littleness of our human nature. So like that child, he keeps pouring the immensity of the ocean of his love into our tiny, porous, leaking hearts. He just hopes that one day we will realize that what he is asking of us is not to contain the entire ocean. He is simply asking us to never get tired of filling our tiny, leaking hearts with his infinite love. And like the sea water that child was pouring into the sand, the life-giving waters of his love will seem to sink and disappear into the deep and shifty sands of life. But, and a big but, silently and without us realizing, each drop will touch each and every little grain of sand we humans are made of. Drop by drop, the ocean water will transform each one of us into life-giving channels of love, of peace. One day, sand and water will rejoin the infinite ocean where they originally came from. On that day, they will find their infinite fulfillment, even in their own tiny selves. Like John the Baptist, we also will be able to say one day, I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be known to Israel. Now, I have seen and I have testified that he is the Son of God. Let us go back to our own baptism, which most likely we all received when we were still tiny, innocent babies. Because we were innocent, we were receptive and fully open to those life-giving waters. God has poured his wildest and most glorious dreams deep in our tiny human hearts. And one day, God's big dream will come true. All he needs is a leaking hole in the sand and a little innocent and open-hearted child like you 
like me to just believe and accept to become simple channels of his peace. God bless you and may peace be with you.